Hey everyone, Tyson the Subaru Specialist from Subaru Prince George here. Today we're taking a look at the 2022 Subaru WRX Sport Tech in the ice silver metallic. So the 22's got a redesign. Front end's different, body's different, hood's different. We've got LED steering responsive headlights with those LED C channel daytime running lights. LED fog lights at the bottom. I really like the hood. That's probably my new favorite part of the exterior of the car is the hood. I think it's a great looking hood. I really like that slightly wider and lower hood scoop. Sport Tech being the fully loaded model. Not accounting for an automatic with eyesight. Sport Techs all get the lip spoiler at the rear. There is no option for a wing. There's no accessory for a wing, but I'm sure lots of people have seen the ones on social media with the STI spoilers put on them. So, in the back, keyless access to the trunk, as long as you have the key on you. And it is a sizable trunk. A little bit larger than the previous gen, but the cargo tray from the previous gen will fit, is what I'm told by some customers that have it. Underneath here, spare tire tools and spare tire. In Canada, you're lucky enough to get the spare tire. I guess in the States, you get the fix-a-flat kit. If you ever get tossed in your own trunk, glow-in-the-dark trunk release. You've got functional vents. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it, but you can see a little bit of silver paint through there. That's a functional vent. You've got those on either side. And then we do also have functional vents up front here. You can see the tire through there, better airflow. Get the 18 inch wheels, the dark, dark gray. I don't know if I'd call it gunmetal exactly, but it is dark gray. Second row, lots of room. Good headroom, good leg room, more than you'd expect out of a sports car, sports sedan. Now the seating material, it's the leather bolstering with the ultra suede. So very, very comfortable. If there's only one or two passengers in the back, you get a fold down armrest with cup holders. The outer two seats are heated high and low. Two USB ports, both USB-A sockets for charging. And on the back of both seats, you have map back pockets. Bottle holders. The contrast stitching is always red in the full load WRXs, just like it was in the STIs. Orange is that sporty color. Red, sorry, orange. Red is the sporty color that they choose as the contrast in the performance cars. Thinking cross track when I said the orange stitching. We've got these little doors on the top, two on each side. That's what your crossbars will bolt into when they're available. You flip those doors up and they bolt right in. Very, very secure. Much better than the ones that clamp on to the C-channel style. You can get some that just grab there and there. Not as secure as the ones that bolt in. These are stronger. Tilt and slide sunroof in the Sport Tech. Power windows, locks, mirrors, along with window lock. Bottle holder and a little bit of storage. And then you do also get the Harman Kardon audio system. Phenomenal audio system. Power driver seat, including lumbar. And these seats are bolstered. Not overly aggressive. They are very comfortable. You got the red WRX stitched on both headrests in the Sport Tech, but it's enough bolstering that it will hold you in the seat in some pretty tight high speed corners. They're very comfortable. By the driver's left knee, there's the ability to open the trunk. You can turn off traction control, and this scroll wheel here controls the brightness of the gauges. So it'll control up there. Won't do anything right now just with how bright out it is, but it does make a difference at night. Headlights, defaults to auto. You can't accidentally be driving with your headlights turned off, which is nice. Fog lights. Now the turn signal on this, it just springs back. It's kind of interesting. Um, I'm not sure why they went with that design for the WRX and the BRZ, but it is what it is. It just took me a minute to get used to it. Really nice, easy to read gauge cluster. The steering wheel is D-shaped, so flat on the bottom. Little carbon fiber accent, ties in with the doors. Left-hand side, we have our Bluetooth and audio controls. You can make and take calls, control the volume of the calls and music. Switch between presets. 
Arrows down here will change the small center display that gives you different information depending on what you want to look at. Most people that drive a WRX like the boost gauge. Cruise control on the right-hand side. Wiper controls on the right stick there. You do get the 11.6 inch touchscreen in the sport tech. So they've broken it into three portions. You have the climb controls at the bottom, the center portion with all your tiles, your apps, and then the top portion here. Four different screens to go what you're listening to. That'll be a navigation direction, destination one. Water temp, oil temp. You can change those widgets around if you wanted. And then weather. That's part of the satellite radio trial. And right now we're sitting under a metal roof at an angle. We can't get that. Center portion with your tiles, things like your navigation. And it is powered by TomTom. Tom. Good system. Easy to use. You've got access to media, radio, hook your phone up to Bluetooth, Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. Now those are both wired. It is not wireless. It's not like the 23 Outbacks and Legacies. Access to the My Subaru app when the vehicle's registered. Do also have access on the main screen there. Car info. Set maintenance reminders. And you can add additional shortcuts should you want. And then at the bottom here, we have our climb controls. Now, we still have physical buttons left and right side for driver and passenger side. You can see that the passenger side set to 27, driver set to high. Press it, brings up the driver's side, and you can choose whatever you'd like. You can also sync it really easily, and it syncs to the driver's side. That's where you also turn on your heated seat. Same thing on the passenger side. Press it, brings up the passenger side, gives you access to that. If you want to change where the airflow is, you press on the little image of the person. And then you choose based, change your fan strength at the same time. So really, really easy. Takes a little bit to get used to with it being a touchscreen as opposed to physical dials. But most people are okay with that after a couple weeks. Below that, we have two USB ports, an aux, and a 12 volt for any charging needs you may have. This is illuminated and this is rubberized. The idea is you can put your phone there, a device there, and hopefully it stops it from sliding around on corners too much. Obviously, if you're going to the track or something, you're not going to leave your phone there six-speed manual transmission so a pleasure to drive it is fairly short and if you wanted to go reverse it's this collar up over back and when you go in reverse backup camera pops up shows you the top of the bumper there so you have something to relate to turn the wheel those orange lines move show you where you're going to end up easy to use coin tray with cup holders and then in the center console there there's a place to run cords and there's a 12 volt outlet in there. Now, this is the front plate bracket. We don't typically install these on the WRXs unless the customer requests it, but it is there. It comes with all of them. My favorite feature ever in any vehicle, auto dimming rear view mirror. There's no switch to flick. If someone's got their high beams on behind, you just automatically dims. It is great. Best thing ever here, especially in truck country where everyone's got a lifted truck with high, Hey, high beams that are LEDs and they are right at eye level. SOS and concierge service, part of the three-year trial of connected services that you get with most new Subarus. Sunroof controls, got your door light switch or you can have it turned off, but right now, set to door, open it, lights come on. These are also map lights, you should press them. Light vanity mirror with light, and then tilt and slide sunroof, it is a manual shade but it's not that bad at all. Put it in reverse, backup camera comes up. I'm just gonna back it in and then I will show you guys the under, underside of the hood there. But these are a pleasure to drive. If you haven't had the chance to try one out, I recommend you do. Then to shut it off, just press it. It says reminder, look in rear seat. That's because the back door was open within 30 minutes of turning on the ignition. It's just saying, hey, don't forget anything. The idea is children or pets, but could be something like ice cream in the summer. And up front here. So to pop the hood, this is the rule I use for every Subaru. I go to the right-hand side of the Subaru logo, put my hand in facing down, and I move it right to left. And it's right there. Now, the WRX has hood struts. That's not a common thing on the Subarus. It's safety related on the majority of them. Just like for the same reason you don't see a hood scoop on the Outback or the Legacy. It's just another sharp area for a pedestrian to smash their head off of if you hit them. Now this is the 2.4 liter turbocharged boxer engine. 
borrowed from the Ascent Outback and Legacy, it produces 271 horsepower. So a bit of an increase. It's running six pounds less boost than the previous WRX. So these are a little bit different to drive. You don't get quite, you don't get that uh, huge hit of boost right away, but it's pretty nice to drive. It's linear, it's, it's different. You've got brake fluid, washer fluid, oil, coolant, and the dipstick all highlighted in yellow because that's what the average consumer is going to touch. Subaru, of course, has the oil filter on top, which makes working on them a lot easier. I should say changing the oil a lot easier. And of course, your air box with your filter. So it's all very easily accessible for the average stuff that you may have to do if you don't take it into the shop to get that done. So that is a quick overview of the 2022 Subaru WRX Sport Tech in the manual transmission. I'm Tyson, the Subaru Specialist from Subaru Prince George. If you guys have any questions about this vehicle or any of the vehicles on our lineup, any of the tech, please put them in the comments below. I'm more than happy to answer any questions you may have. And if I don't have the answer, I'll find out for you. Thanks for watching. Talk to you soon.